Welcome back to Fox Fire Forest Alaska. Today, we're out here with the boys hunting grouse and ptarmigan in the Murphy Dome area of interior Alaska. I'll see if we can go get some dinner. Grouse come to the road to fill up on grit, so it makes it easy to spot them as you're driving, but it is unlawful to discharge a firearm on, from, or across the driven surface of the road. So my plan was to push this flock into the scrub and then go in after them. This heavy brush was the perfect environment to lose a bird in, but grouse don't usually go far on the wing, so eventually I caught up with them. At first, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to line up this shot through all the scrub, but then I noticed a pretty slim shooting lane and took aim. Thank you for your sacrifice. In the following scenes, my dad teaches me how to quickly clean my first grouse, and I'd like to share that valuable knowledge with you all, but it is a little graphic. So if you want to skip to the next part, that's totally okay with us. Step one is to spread the wings out and put one foot on each side, very close to the bird's body, then firmly grasp each leg in your hands. You kind of stand up, slowly bending at the waist, pulling with the legs. There was a lot less resistance than I thought there would be here. It's not a rough grouse, because that would be white. Okay. Now you want to cut it at each place where the wing joins the body. Exactly. Be careful with your fingers there. There you go. There you go. There's yep. a berries that just ate. Them. Yep. And then you just kind of cut, snip, snip, right there and there. And that one didn't come out entirely clean. I've seen them where the feathers have gone and it's you just have the two wings and the uh, the, the breast. Yeah, I think I didn't do it correctly. You don't look like you did poorly either, though. And I'm done. Dinner. With my dinner in the bag, we hiked up a nearby mountain to see if we could find a cool spot to fly the drone. If you know where to look, there's incredible abundance here in Alaska, but it's often spread far and wide over difficult terrain. We grabbed a few handfuls of blueberries as a midday snack and kept heading up the steep hill, but eventually we found a recessed nook towards the top to take a break out of the wind. The view was incredible. Then we got the drone up into some of the windiest weather I have ever flown in, but I still had a blast racing it around. From here, we were able to see the Minto Flats area that stretched out to the horizon. Then all too soon, it was time to say goodbye and head home to grill up our catch. To debone my grouse, I'll be using a beautiful knife from the legendary Eagle River Knife Company. This was a wedding gift from my good friend Vito, so thank you and shout out if you're watching, man. Amateur knife work aside, the goal here is to basically just follow the breastbone down and shear off the breast meat on each side. And just like that, a few hours later and it looks like something from the grocery store. Some folks call grouse the chicken of the forest, and I think I can see why. The prep was super simple here, using a little salt, pepper, minced garlic, and a drizzle of olive oil. Then I put the bird off to the side to marinate for about 15 minutes and got the grill all fired up. Listen to that sizzle. It smells delicious. Dark meat isn't usually my first choice, but I was definitely ready to try this after a long day in the field. Once the grouse has reached an internal temperature of about 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, it's ready for the plate. Alright, here we go. We hope this video has inspired you to think about how you can get out and enjoy the great outdoors wherever you are. Be sure to check out our last episode up here about the day our chickens laid their first egg. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time here at Foxfire Forest, Alaska.